Welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy and I'm back again with another pick a card reading for you. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for all your support, all of your comments. You guys are amazing. I truly appreciate your presence here. If you're finding yourself on my channel for the first time, welcome. We are a space of light and love, good vibes only. So if you're into tarot, pull up a chair, grab yourself a cup of tea and we'll have a chat. We're all friends at my table. So today's reading is a requested video. Um, we're going to be looking at the question, their actions versus their true feelings. So think of a person in your mind, um, <clears throat> hold that person in your mind while you're making your choice. And that's the question we're posing to spirit. You know, how are they treating you in real life versus their true, honest feelings for you inside? We do have three piles in front of you. Pile number one with the pink rose and the phoenix spirit. Pile number two, with the tiger spirit and the daisy. Pile number three with the firefly spirit and the dark pink geranium. My timestamps are listed below, so if you need a moment to pause the video and sink into your body and choose whatever pile or piles are calling out to you, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into group number one. Again, the topic is their actions versus their true feelings. Hello everybody in group one. I hope you're doing really well today. You guys were drawn to the Phoenix card and this little pink rose and this is your reading on their actions versus their true feelings. We'll be pulling two separate decks today for you and of course some charms and some love messages but the Phoenix is really about rebirth and transformation. So this person could truly want um, a start over, a do over with you. F lots of fire energy is represented here. Um, there's a very strong attraction sexual attraction I feel with this connection um, there's also a call to look at things from a higher perspective as well but truly a call for a rebirth a call to rise out of the ashes so we'll see what the rest of your cards say so first we're going to take a look at their their actions towards you how are they treating you right now how are they treating group one in the 3d to the spirit so this could be a friend um, friend situation or someone that you um, know socially. The Three of Cups is about going out and celebrating. It is about, you know, having a good time. It is about friendships and coming together. Ooh, the Two of Cups in the reverse position. Interesting. So this is telling me um, that perhaps there was a breakup. Um, between you and your person that you're speaking about or there's a separation um, in place and it could be because of a third party situation um, next to that three of cups. I'm going to see what other <laughs> cards show up before speculating too much but a lot of water energy is represented here. There's a uh, quite a depth of emotion. The two of cups can indicate a soulmate relationship as well. Okay so we have the three of pentacles. So as I'm seeing this spread, I'm seeing this two of cups in the reverse position, which really speaks to me about a separation, a breakup. You could be in no contact with this person at the moment, and it is flanked by this three of pentacles and that three of cups. So I truly feel like there is a third party involvement here. There could be a no contact situation. Um, so this person may not be able to express themselves at all. They could be building a foundation with someone else, or you could be building a foundation with someone else. How do they treat you right now? Okay, so they're, I don't feel like there is much contact here. I feel like maybe they're quite silent with you. There's a sense of feeling very stuck. They're feeling quite trapped in their current situation with this devil energy on the back of the deck as well. Capricorn really represented here. Um, and also with this eight of swords, that sense of feeling stuck is being kind of, it's a self-imposed restriction. I feel like they put themselves in this situation um, and they're kind of blinded by it or they were blinded by it in the past blinded by the fact that they could walk away at any time and choose a different path but they have chosen to it looks like they've chosen a third party and now they're feeling quite entrapped in the decisions that they've made um, and I feel like they do have a desire to start over <laughs> to you know start fresh in this connection how are they currently treating you what is the current state of this connection
here we go the devil card again so they are um, trapped in some sort of third party or some sort of situation that is making them feel like they can't approach you I also had another one I thought flipped over but let me oh no it's this one it fell out <clears throat> the five of swords five of swords really speaks about um, conflict and arguments and kind of like a no-win situation. Like it feels like this is a no-win situation, kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. You know, underneath this Two of Cups, showing that separation, showing that disconnect, um, they feel very trapped and they feel like they can't make the right decision. Again, that they're stuck <clears throat> between a rock and a hard place. Here we have the Knight of Swords, though. You know, a desire to clear the air. The Knight of Swords is about honesty and truth. Um, it's about ch somebody wanting the desire to charge in and truly clear the air of any mistruth. So I don't feel like this person is able to even express themselves to you at all. I feel like there is a no contact situation here for some of you. We have this five of wands, a lot of sexual passionate energy that isn't able to be placed anywhere is the sense I get with this five of wands and just a lot of conflict and competition um, for your heart, for your time, for your attention. It feels like on the back of the deck, we have the nine of swords. So this person is losing sleep over this. You could be losing sleep as well. A lot of anxiety, depression sort of feelings here with that Nine of Swords. Um, somebody could be having nightma nightmares, sleepless nights. So I don't feel like you're in a connection with this person right now. I feel like they're unable to speak with you. I feel like that's how they're treating you right now. They're stuck in some sort of situation. And now we're going to switch gears, you guys. And we're going to see how they're truly feeling about you this is how they're treating you um, perhaps with not able to even speak with you at all and now we're going to take a look over here on how they truly feel about you what are their true feelings that maybe they're not able to express right now because of their current situation wheel of fortune first major arcana out of the deck here um <clears throat> That Wheel of Fortune speaks about fate. I feel like your person thinks that this is a fated union. I feel like that's kind of a, a mirrored energy here. And the Wheel of Fortune truly is about like karma coming in, fate and change. It could also represent a sudden turn of events as well. How do they truly feel about group one? What are their true feelings that, that they cannot tell? Their secret true feelings. Your secret feelings, please, Spirit. <clears throat> okay, so we do have the Four of Cups coming out here. There is a real sense of sadness with this Four of Cups. You know, um, they're not happy where they are. There's a sense of withdrawal and boredom. They do have a desire to communicate with you. I just spied the Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> here we have the Two of Wands. So those wands really represent, you know, passion and fire. Um, fire energy is represented here, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. But that Two of Wands is really telling me that they truly want to move forward into a new beginning with you. They desire expansion in their life with you. Um, it's also a sense of decision-making as well, whether to go to the left or to the right. And here we have the Ten of Wands. So I feel like this is a passion that this person's been carrying for you for quite a while. I feel like they truly have a lot of, they do desire that, that transformation. They do desire a rebirth. You see in the background of this card very faintly, you can see those two skulls. You can see this, this butterfly being, you know, rising up in the red. You know, it really is reminiscent of this phoenix that we started out with. A desire for transformation. The Ten of Wands is truly about burdens that are becoming too heavy but also I feel like you know with this ten of wands they don't want to put the burden down either they're unprepared to put that burden down and they don't even know how to put it down because they've been carrying it for so long and trudging forward with this passion but there's a sense of the desire for closure the desire to move this connection into a different place with the ten of wands the desire to want to express some of that passion towards you How do they truly feel for you? The 
the seven of wands more passion more fire here but they also see a, a huge obstacle to get towards you they are feeling so stuck right now in their current energy in their current situation that they truly don't see a clear path towards you and they're waiting for the universe to kind of step in and make that change they're kind of waiting around in the wings to see if fate will bring you guys back together because right now they can't see that clear path and it's playing on their minds how do they truly feel what are their true secret feelings for you four of swords <clears throat> excuse me guys you know, they're trying to reflect and maybe retreat upon themselves. They are kind of stuck in this sense of apathy and boredom, stuck in the past. And I feel like they've kind of locked away their feelings. I feel like they're, these feelings are secret. I don't feel like if they're in a third party, um, or even if they're not in a third party situation, but there is something getting their attention, making them feel trapped. You know, it's a secret they're holding inside. This is uh, something they're locking away. And that call for, you know, a self-reflection and honesty within themselves to look at this situation with honesty. Swords are about truthfulness. Mental clarity is what they're really seeking. How do they truly feel about you? We have the hanged man. They're feeling stuck. They don't know which way to go. They don't know how to move towards you. They're in this decision-making mode right now, but that hanged man is really telling me that... <clears throat> They're in this state of suspension, again, waiting around for the universe to kind of clear a path for them. They're not, they can't see a clear path towards you. I just spied the moon on the back of the deck. Again, not being honest with themselves. Kind of a blocked intuition represented by that moon card. How do they truly feel? How are their, oops. So he, these cards shot out at me. We have the Five of Pentacles and the King of Cups. They truly have a lot of, a depth of emotion here, a depth of love towards you that is intense and strong with that King of Cups. He is abundant in his loving energy. He is generous and kind and courageous. Uh, but we have it flanked with this Five of Pentacles, which really speaks about that poverty they're feeling right now. They're feeling stuck in their own position in life and unable to feel like they can move forward. They do truly have a lot of feelings for you. Um... And on the back of the deck, we have the Empress. So that opinion of you is quite high. They have a very high opinion of you. They put you up on that pedestal. You could be a mother. You know, f fertility and abundance is really represented by the Empress. Um, but they have a real lack inside themselves. The discrepancy between how they feel about you and how they feel about themselves. There is a very strong depth of emotion here. But a real sense of being stuck. They're stuck in some sort of situation in their life. <clears throat> says very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now it's important to remember that this eight of swords is about being self like being stuck because you've put yourself in a state of suspension as well as the hanged man this person has put themselves up so they need to clearly decide what they want to make it clear to the universe soulmate yes this is your soulmate we have that two of cups sitting over there <clears throat> really speaks of soulmate energy to me True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. I'm going to switch gears here. Like attracts like. If you long for more love, more be more loving. So I feel like this could be a mirrored energy for you guys. Perhaps you guys are also also stuck in some sort of karmic situation or something is holding you back as well from moving towards um, this person perhaps there truly are a lot of obstacles in the way um, family or children could be an issue appreciate this moment every situation is an opportunity to grow and to find love <clears throat> And practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. That's truly what your person wants you to do. They truly want, again, that, that fresh new beginning, you know, for you to, to have that fresh perspective of this connection as well. They want a do-over, a start-over, but they don't see a clear path to do that. So they don't <clears throat> know how to 
bring that situation into the 3D. What would this person say to you if they could right now? I worry that this is all in my head is the first message out of the deck. I didn't, <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't realize what we had together. Again, there is that, that evidence there of a disconnect of a breakup of some kind in the past. <clears throat> we complement each other. Lots of mirrored energy here. I want to see you again. I did get the essence that this is a no contact situation for some of you. Again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't in my readings. If something isn't resonating with your situation, um, you can always try a different pile or a different video. I'm in love with you. And I don't know how to let you go. I'm in love with you and no one knows. Secrets here. I feel like they're hiding this, these true feelings from themselves, even in a sense, with that four of swords. There is a call for honesty within themselves. You know, <clears throat> I hide my feelings for you from everyone. And also I dream of being reckless. On the back of the deck we have, like, I could lose myself in your eyes. And it's important for me to mention that when I see things like I dream of being reckless, this card really speaks to me about someone wanting to charge in, <clears throat> again with that um, Knight of Swords, wanting to charge in and truly risk it all. Risk it all for this connection. Get you guys some charms. Okay, so today we have the moon. I'm not surprised to see that card at all. And the six of swords. So, you know, we started out this reading with um, that phoenix card. We kind of ended on the other side over here with this ten of wands, that desire for transformation, the desire for closure. And here we have, you know, the six of swords, that moving into calmer waters. Your person truly is feeling beaten down and bruised maybe a little bit and wanting now to move forward in this connection. They're feeling really stuck. And I feel like, again, the moon card here is showing that blocked intuition, showing that they're not being able to be honest about this connection or about their true feelings for you. We have the letters E, Y, and L. So love you. And then E. We have um, forever. You know, it's a little ring that I have. It's There's two parts to it. Um, and it just feels like, you know, this feels like a soulmate connection for some of you. Um, and it's important to remember that these soulmate connections um, don't always end up being a connection that happens in the 3D in every single lifetime. Sometimes you spent many lifetimes with this person. And in this, in this experience, you guys have agreed to be separated for your souls to grow in that connection. Um, but that's just, you know, a little reminder from your person that their, their feelings for you aren't going anywhere. We have the peace symbol, that desire for peace and balance in their life that only you can bring. We also have the shell. The shell makes me think of the high priestess because, you know, you can't see inside of there. There's secrets hidden inside. You know, I feel like this person is hiding their feelings for you. A lot of these cards, you know, I want to see you again. I worry this is in my head. I'm hide my feelings for you. I'm in love and no one knows. So this person's holding these secrets about this, the depth of this connection for them. We also have the pineapple. And someone in my, in my um, comment section mentioned the other day that pineapples represent friendship. I had no idea that that was true. So this could be someone from your friend group that maybe it turned into something more and then there was a breakup, whatever the situation may be. Um, but there is a pineapple there. So however that resonates with you. Okay, group one, that is your reading. This is their actions versus their true feelings for you. If this resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos I post. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave those in the comment section. You guys come up with some great ideas. Um, otherwise, I'm going to move on to the second group, and I hope to see you guys here on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, you guys. Hi everybody in group two. I hope you're doing really well today. This is your reading. You guys were drawn to the tiger and the daisy. So this is your reading on who, their actions versus their true secret feelings for you. The tiger is about power. It's about control. Um, there's a lot of fire energy here. Um, I noticed the moon in the middle of this tiger's head. So I feel like this maybe is a secret feeling, you know, a secret 
secret feelings that they haven't shared with anyone. I feel like they're very aware of you. If, they're, if this is a no-contact situation and you resonate with that message, I feel like they're very aware of you and you're not. They kind of blend in. And there's a sense of this person being very charismatic and almost mesmerizing for, you know, with that spirit for me. So how are they treating you is the qu first question we're going to ask. How are they treating you right now? So here, I feel like they're watching you here with this page of wands coming out. You know, um, the page really represents that passion they have for you. Uh, sorry, the wands represent that passion that they have for you. And the page kind of feels like, it feels like a young type of energy. Maybe this is a, a relationship that hasn't quite gotten off the ground, but we'll see what the rest of the cards say. How are they treating you? Four of Pentacles. Get a few more cards. How are they treating you right now? The Emperor. So they may be acting a little bit aloof with you with that Emperor. The Emperor doesn't really show their emotions very much. And we have this Four of Pentacles. So this could be a person who is truly working on themselves, working, um, they could be in school. They could be a young entrepreneur, someone trying to start a business. And we have this Four of Pentacles that really speaks about, you know, trying to build up a secure foundation for themselves. The Emperor is a very strong father type energy. Um, there's abundance and structure, kind of like a masculine structured energy, very strong energy, a powerful energy like the tiger, you know, doesn't show emotion, emotionless sort of. So they may be treating you kind of cold. There is sort of a, a possessiveness or a greed to the four of pentacles as well. So while they're treating you cold, it may also be kind of like this weird sort of I don't want to use the word bully, but it's like, it's like a pull. They draw you in and they kind of push you away. They draw you in, they kind of push you away essence. But they may be acting quite aloof. We have the hanged man here. <laughs> Self-suspension. Um, just kind of st taking a step back and maybe watching you from afar with that hanged man. A sense of putting themselves up there and just kind of watching. Waiting for that perfect opportunity to come in perhaps. How are they treating you? Their actions towards you. We have the Five of Cups. So that Five of Cups really shows, you know, there's a remorse here, a sadness. Um, a sense of real disappointment with the Five of Cups and focusing on the negative as opposed to focusing what you still have going for you with the Five of Cups as well. Um, there's a call to kind of look at the situation um, with open, honest eyes with this five of cups and to really delve into true intentions on both sides um, with that five of cups. So I feel like the way they've been treating you has been very disappointing to you. And I feel like you guys feel very attached to this person at this point and they haven't been treating you very <laughs> warmly lately. How are they treating you? What are their actions towards you right now? actions towards you the moon so yeah secretive you know not being truthful not being clear with you about their intentions about their feelings that moon really shows that blocked intuition um <clears throat> oops sorry guys i bumped you <clears throat> um there's a fear there a fear that they're not expressing their feelings for you they're kind of being stoic but we have the Ten of Swords. So it, there is that call for closure and the call for movement. I just feel like this person isn't being honest with themselves. The Ten of Swords is when you are called to let go of an idea that your ego has become really attached to. You know, so this could be a connection that you guys have really been attached to for a really, really long time. And there is a call for closure here. There is a call for moving into a new beginning um, with the Ten of Swords. Put that right in the center. We also have that King of Cups, so, you know, I don't feel like they're treating you the way a King of Cups would, but I feel that that might be their true intentions, but we'll take a look here. We'll move this over a bit, because we're going to switch gears now and ask the questions, what are their true feelings for you? If this is how they're treating you, if they're treating you kind of cold, not being 100% honest, um, how do they truly feel inside? What are their secret true feelings towards you? 
So we have this strength card coming out, Leo energy really represented here. You could be a Leo, especially with that tiger too, just the fire in it in and the power inside that spirit animal. Um, it's about taming that beast inside of you. It's about taming those inner fears. I feel like this person may appear like they're the emperor type of energy, but truly they're not. You know, they have a lot of self-doubt, a lot of um, negative inner dialogue. What are their true feelings? What are their true feelings for you? Five of Cups again. So there is a sense of wanting to come back forward with an apology with that Five of Cups. Um, your person's really, really focused on how they've hurt you in the past or or not coming towards you in the past. They're just focused on negativity, on sadness and disappointment. Um, they're not really paying attention to the cups they have behind them. This could be a third party situation for some of you, but it doesn't have to be. Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is a call for logic and truth. I feel like this person is trying to be logical when it comes to you. I feel like they're they're trying to not use their their heart when they think about you. <laughs> you know, they're trying to be analytical. They could be an air sign. But here we have the star card. Underneath that strength card, such powerful energy here from the major arcana. And, and the star is really that, it's a very loving energy. It's about hope and faith. You know, it's like truly you bring about a sense of well-being for this person. They haven't lost faith or hope in this connection or they, they don't want to lose faith in this, in this connection because I feel like you are the type of person that really guides them even if they don't show it. You know, we have the moon right next to that star card here. And you see her pouring all of her thoughts and emotions into this pool, but then she's wasting a lot of it onto the ground as well. So I feel like they're maybe wasting some of their energy right now, maybe in another place. Um, and they truly want to pour all that, that loving energy into you. We also have the king of cups. The king of cups is an abundant amount of love towards you. There's no way around that. You know, it's compassion, kindness. There's a lot of caring there. And it's, a, it, it's, also, it's also masculine energy as well, like the emperor. Very masculine energy. So there's a yin-yang type of, type of situation going on here, you know, concerning their actions versus their true feelings. They are not treating you the way that they're truly feeling about you. They're tr kind of treating you cold. Again, not, there's no honesty here. A call for honesty for sure with that ten of swords. But they're... they're true feelings for you are ones of like, I really messed this up. I'm really messing this up. And I want to be able to give this person everything they deserve. How do they truly feel? We have the page of wands again, wanting to express that energy to you, wanting to express those passions they have, truly studying you perhaps from afar. And we also have here the Page of Swords and the Queen of Wands. My Page of Swords is my watcher. And I, I said at the onset of this uh, of this reading that the Page of Swords is true, or sorry, that I feel like if this is a no contact situation that they are aware of you keeping tabs on you in the background. And that's the sense I get with the Page of Swords. They like to come in with truth, they in, you know, integrity as well. Um, but there's an impetu like a feeling of impetuous energy with the Page of Swords, um, not feeling like they have quite enough to offer you. But then we have that Queen of Wands, really representative of their opinion of you, um, putting you up on that pedestal, the passion that they feel and want to express with you. They have the King of Cups here, the Queen of Wands. They want to just, they want to express their passion and their love for you. They have a lot of passion and love for you. They're not being honest about that. But on the back of the deck, we have this beautiful Four of Wands, more fire, more passion, a desire for celebration, a desire for closure, a desire to come together, um, a desire for marriage, truly, um, with this card. So definitely not being honest with their true feelings um, for you. A lot of fear with that moon card. They, you know, a lot of fear. And fear truly holds us back from so many, so much. We allow it to hold us back, I should say. Back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires.
honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. And that is truly paramount here um, with how your person is acting towards you, not, not with honesty, <laughs> being completely dishonest about their true feelings and acting cold, it would seem. Whoops. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And I often see this card when I see someone um, or I feel like someone is in a negative self-talk mode or they're speaking unkindly about themselves. And we have that strength card, which really calls about, you know, taming that beast inside of you. I feel like this person doesn't feel like they measure up to you. We have that page sitting right next to that queen. Um, I just feel like they think there's a discrepancy here and they truly need to free themselves of that attitude. Or if you share that attitude as well, freeing yourself of that because you are amazing. You're amazing. You know, you are at the base of all things. No matter what you think you are, you are a loving spiritual child of God. You come from source. So you are incredible and you need to free yourself from any limiting thoughts that tell you otherwise. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Children could be a factor right now. This could also be a situation where you've known each other from the time you were children. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. It's more of that positive self-talk. You're the first person that hears anything that comes out of your mouth, negative or positive. So you're truly absorbing that. Wedding, the situation involves marriage. So we did have that four of wands over here. It could be a real desire this person has to have with you. There could also be someone involved in some sort of commitment. Take what resonates again, leave what doesn't. Oops. What would your person want to say to you if they had the opportunity to say whatever they wanted? It's complicated right now for them. Their feelings are complicated, but you do light up the room. We do have that queen of wands holding you up on that pedestal. You see right through me and I am a different person than you remember. This could be someone from your past. I miss you regardless of how things are looking on the outside. And they're also saying that they're haunted by this connection. It weighs on their mind. That Ten of Swords really shows I have secrets. Interesting. I still feel jealous over you. Oh, provisional. <laughs> Here we have, do you miss us the way that I do? Interesting. On the back of the deck, we have you're too good. Oops, we have you're too good for me. As I said, you know, with that discrepancy of how they feel about themselves versus how they feel about you, truly that... I'm not surprised to hear that. Oh, we'll get you guys some charms here. Two I can't see. Ooh. Okay, let's see what we have here today, you guys. We have the Knight of Cups. Definitely a desire to come towards you. And we have the Hermit. Virgo energy represented here. Um, again, the discrepancy between their thoughts and their actions, feeling kind of stuck within themselves and that desire to come forward. You know, the hermit truly, um, spends time reflecting, spends time <clears throat> kind of like, oh, we didn't have the four of swords here, but spends time reflecting, spends time holding that flame for you, as you can see. And then there's that desire to come forward. So truly thoughts versus versus actions here um we have here the stone that makes me think of the knight of pentacles you know um slow moving energy patience really required to see that come to fruition we have the chain could represent soulmate energy feeling stuck by this connection not feeling like you can move forward because you're so tethered to that person emotionally we have the button the desire to mend we have feathers here and we have a key with two feathers which is interesting, you know, speaks of soulmate relationships, speaks of, of looking for things, at a, looking at things from a higher perspective as well. And there is a call to honesty with that key as well to just sort of, there's two keys, 
both of you need to be honest. There's, there is a double whammy here of honesty needed. And we have the moon with the star, that hope. We had the star card here and we had the moon card right next to each other. So that's very interesting to me, you know, not losing hope, but also keeping the, that hope a secret. Uh, we have the penny here from 1977, the desire to communicate, the desire to be open and honest, a bunch of grapes. And we have, you know, it's interesting here, we have this little block foundation and we have the love that's kind of put up in a block foundation. This is my um, charm for someone climbing the steps of success, climbing that ladder to a different level, definitely wanting to bring this connection to a different level. But I also said on the onset of this reading that this person may have be someone who is working on themselves or working on creating a financial stable foundation for themselves as well. We have p the peace sign here. The desire for such is very strong with your person. We also have a commandment from the Bible. Oops. It says, remember the Sabbath day. So that always comes up when I think of someone holding you on a pedestal, on a very high pedestal in their mind or in their heart. They could be a very religious person as well. We have the group of grapes. What else is there? We have that little ruin. So let's take a look. Haroon of wholeness. Um, success, harmony, good health, self-knowledge, and triumph in general. The integration of mind and spirit becomes possible with this very positive and powerful rune. The integration of mind and spirit. And I feel like, you know, again, how they're treating you versus how they truly feel about you coming together, integrating those two things so that they can get, so you can both gain some clarity in this situation. Okay, group two, that is your reading. That is how they are feeling for you versus how they're acting towards you. If this resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment in the comment section. If you feel called to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos I post. If you have any suggestions for videos, leave those in the comment section as well. Um, otherwise, I'm going to move on to the last group, and I do hope to see you guys here on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, you guys. Hello, everybody in group three. I hope you're doing well today. You guys were drawn to the firefly spirit and this little dark pink geranium, and this is your reading on their actions versus their true feelings for you. Um, the firefly spirit is about guarding that inner light inside of you, not letting something go out. Um, it's about being small, but mighty. There's a lot of hope and faith, you know, lighting up the darkness here with this spirit animal. And I just feel like this could be a no contact situation for some of you. I'm getting the sense of that already. Um, and not wanting to extinguish that flame, not also a call from spirit to let you to guard your inner light. To keep it safe because I feel like you guys are very empathic I feel like you guys are very powerful spiritually and to guard that inside of you because it could be a you're like a, it's like moths to a flame you know people in trouble may be drawn to you um, and it's about guarding that light protecting yourself <clears throat> okay so let's look to first at their actions how are they treating you right now in the 3d how are they treating you we have the Six of Cups coming out and the Three of Cups already. The Six of Cups is a lot of loving energy. That is a soulmate card for me. Um, it's about nostalgic love. It's about innocent love. It's that sense of looking at someone through rose-colored glasses, um, gift-giving, just childhood innocence. And we have the Three of Cups. So this could be a friend, per, a friendship situation. Three of Cups is about socializing and friendships and going out. Um, so this could be a, friend, a friendship situation. How are they treating you right now, spirit? How are they treating group three? The judgment. Got a few more cards here. How are they treating you? You know, that judgment card is, is truly um, a call for a transformation. They treating you. Queen of Cups. So there's they could be treating you with a lot of loving energy here with that Queen of Cups underneath that Six of Cups. It really shows like a real depth of emotion. They may be like giving you gifts. They may be. Um, 
you know, they may be like trying to pursue you really hard. They may be somebody from your past. Page of Pentacles is on the back of the deck. How are they treating you right now? I'm going to get a few more cards and then really take a look at what's happening here. King of Pentacles. My goodness. Are they spoiling you rotten right now? Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh. So, and the Eight of Pentacles on the back of the deck. So, you guys, I'm really getting the sense that this person is treating you quite well at the moment. Um, this could be somebody in your friend group. This is someone who wants to move this connection into a new beginning or into a new place with, you know, this judgment card. It's a call for a rebirth. That Six of Cups really speaks to me about soulmate connections. Again, with the Three of Cups, speaks about that friendship connection here. And, you know, the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles are very loving, abundant energy. There's security here. There's an offer for a new emotional start with this Ace of Cups. I feel like this person is being quite obvious with their feelings for you. We have that Eight of Pentacles on the back of the deck. It really feels like someone who is willing to put the work in um, to make you happy to offer you that security. It's like they feel like you're the yin yang. They really want to move this connection into the new beginning. It could be someone who's really flirting with you and opening up the lines of communication from your past. And it's like, maybe you're seeing this person in a new light for the very first time for some of you. This is a very interesting um, reading because and to be honest with you, the first two piles were like, you know, they weren't being honest with their feelings They're treating them differently, but this, you know, we're asking the question their actions towards you right now And if this is is resonating with you Then it looks like you guys are embarking on a brand new adventure with someone and they're treating you very very well <laughs> They're treating you well and willing to put that work in With that eight of Pentacles, they could be a student. They could be somebody you met in school as well Abundant energy, somebody really intelligent. Let's look at their true feelings for you. So the nine of wands, you know, that nine of wands, you know, is I think somebody who has maybe been carrying this flame, this passion for you for quite a while. It feels like that. And we did have that six of cups, which is again, someone from your past. Um, it's about having, there's a little bit of a defensiveness to the Nine of Wands, but it's about, you know, carrying a burden for a really long time that you don't want to put down. It's about, you know, maybe getting a little impatient of wanting to express that passion to you. And I feel like they've been holding this, this, these true feelings for you for quite a while. I feel like it's a little bit of a secret that they were holding. You didn't, maybe you were kind of aware of it. But they express their opinion of you is so high. The Empress, there could be children involved in this connection or, you know, the Empress is truly a motherly, a motherly type of energy, very abundant, very loving. Um, and they just hold you on that pedestal. They think you're beautiful. They think you're very attractive. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. It, it's, it's about that level of attractiveness that they, they find you. And it's about them putting you on that pedestal. The flame, they think you're very, very good looking. <laughs> I just saw the Nine of Pentacles as well. Their opinion of you is so high. We have the Two of Wands. So, you know, the desire for expansion, the desire to, to move this connection forward, the desire for success, and making plans as a representative of the Two of Wands. Again, more passion, more fire. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius represented here. It doesn't have to be. Their true feelings. The Knight of Cups. This person seems really amazing. <laughs> I think that this would be a good match for some of you. Uh, the Knight of Cups is a very loving and, you know, charismatic and very just over the top with gift giving. I feel like this person really wants to give you that experience of all the bells and whistles, the flowers, the chocolates, the candy, all of those things because they have so much passion that they want to express to you. And there's a love... It's not just about passion. It's about love too. They've developed some deep feelings for you over time. Um, so that these, if it started out as a passionate sort of like, oh my gosh, I find that person so attractive. Spending time with you, getting to know, know you truly. Um, oh. We have the four of wands here, guys. The four of wands is about success. They, their true feelings are that they would love to see you guys end up in a committed connection. Um, wanting to express that passion with 
for you as well with all of those wands in place. Um, lots of fiery type of feelings <clears throat> wanting to express themselves to you. Four of Wands truly is a marriage card as well. So their true feelings are that, you know, they want to offer you everything. Oops. Their true feelings, their secret feelings versus their actions. What are their secret feelings towards you? So we have that king of pentacles and we also have actually we have a bunch of cute ones here guys okay so they all came out so we're going to take them all because i feel called to okay so we started out here with this king of pentacles you know that's the security that they want to offer you that's the abundance that you make them feel you know if you're the queen or if you're the king they want to be the yin yang to that they want to be your king they want to be your queen you know they want that with you we also have the sun. <laughs> These are just such beautiful. The two of cups, the sun, and the judgment card again. We had the judgment over here. Um, the desire to, again, move this connection into a new realm. The desire for rebirth. The desire for transformation. Very strong here with this person. Um, and that sun card in this two of cups. Two of cups, again, soulmate energy. Soulmate energy here with the six of cups. The Two of Cups really truly is about the desire for that connection, the desire to actually have a loving relationship with you. Marriage can be representative by the Two of Cups and it's coming out right underneath that Four of Wands. So this could be someone that you truly will move into a marriage with. This could be someone that is truly going to be there for the long haul. This is a great connection for some of you. We have ending off this reading with the Sun card. And here we have a Ten of Wands on the back of the deck. The sun card really showing me that opinion of you being so high. You bring a lot of happiness to them. Secretly, they just, they, they want to revolve around you, basically. <laughs> they want their whole life to revolve around you because that ten of wands shows that passion they've been carrying for you, the burden that they've been carrying on their back, you know, and, but you see this person, they're barefoot. They don't feel like they have a lot to offer, but they're carrying that burden and they're secure and they're not falling out. They may be losing a couple of leaves here and there and they're red in the face, but it's a burden that they're carrying with no intention of putting it down. Um, the tens do are a call for closure, are a call for, you know, the completion. So they do want to they want to take all of that passion they have been storing up for you and they want to express it. They want to finally express it, put those, that, those wands down and give them to you, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Um, <laughs> put that right in the center there for you. Strength, drawing upon, there's fear inside of them to really be completely 100% honest with you, but beautiful, their actions. I feel like they're treating you really well right now. I feel like they're trying to build a foundation with you. I feel like there could be a lot of flirting going on, a lot of gift giving, a lot of conversation, um, but there is a real desire here for them to be with you and to build a life with you and to truly have um, a strong connection, strong future with you. This is a beautiful reading. Express your love. They're, I feel like they are in the process of doing so right now. You could be hanging out with this person, talking to them a lot. You know, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. If you know who this person is, you could help them out by making your move if you feel called to. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And I kind of feel like maybe this is like you haven't seen, as I said, I think earlier, you haven't didn't see this person in this light the entire time you've known them and this is kind of like a wait this I had no idea that this person could be an option for me but they truly are they could be an amazing option for you it is safe for you to love open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all and let your friends help you I feel like this is a friend I feel like this person <laughs> is here to help you and you see you know this person getting prepared almost for some sort of celebration so Wonderful, beautiful energy here, you guys. This is my favorite pile of today. Express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. I feel like this person's already giving you gifts. Um, I feel like, the, you know, they, 
with the six of cups that is a gift giving type of energy the Queen, king of pentacles is very generous i feel like this person has maybe given you some small little tokens or something and all we have to spend quality time together listen and talk to each other i feel like you guys are doing so right now have you reconnected with someone in your past recently i'd love to hear about it in the comment section below because this looks like a great we have embraced your emotions allow your feelings to surface and be appreciated you know let those feelings out and then we also i want to mention this one on the back of the deck spiritual connection a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime this could be a soulmate connection with the two of cups and the six of cups and it's very important to understand that you may have spent millions not millions but you may have been a many many lifetimes with this person what would this person say to you if there was no filter i knew the first moment that i saw you again that that soul that soul contract that you may have made um before this lifetime even began they recognized you i'm ready to act it will never be over between us as i said multiple lifetimes together soulmate connection here oh we have this i dream of the life we almost had and i feel like that's why you know stuck in the past coming back towards you um guys you are my soulmate i love it when the cards do this i think you're too good for me <laughs> they hold you up on that pedestal for sure Ooh, guys i want you and i dream of a second chance so they're hoping for that second chance they and this could you guys i'm telling you this could be a great connection for you I want to build a beautiful life with you. Mm. And here, the longing is eating away at me. And we sense that longing with all of those, you know, wands over here. <laughs> they have a lot of desire that needs to be expressed or that they would, they dream of expressing with you. Get some charms for you guys. A couple here. Okay, what do we have today, you guys? We have the beautiful star card and the nine, and the nine of pentacles. <laughs> when I said that, you know, they want their life to revolve around you, I feel like you are that shining star that guides them through the night. They want to pour all that love into you. The star card is about that hope and that faith of not giving up on this connection. And here we have that beautiful nine of pentacles. We had the card that said, I, um, where is it? I think you're too good for me. That's because they're holding you up on that pedestal. They truly have strong um, attraction for you. They think you're so beautiful or handsome or they just think that you're gorgeous and they hold you up on that pedestal. And that truly speaks to that, to that hope and faith they have of expressing themselves to you. We also have the star charm here. More hope, faith that they can move this connection into a brand new beginning, seeing you in this beautiful light, having you see them in a new light. The acorn, I always see that when I think of um, feelings that have been hidden away, feelings that have been, you know, there's so much potential there. There's so much potential in this connection. Um, and if just planted in the right soil could grow into the big, a big, beautiful tree, a foundation for, for generations to come through, truly could be a water sign here with this little whale we have the little bow the desire for gift giving again i feel like this person's already being kind of generous with you if you guys are talking i feel like there's a few little gifts being exchanged um we have the little engagement ring truly this person sees you as as the potential for the long haul they see you as marriage material we have this um it says pete knight from 1982 it's from the calgary stampede calgary could mean something to you um i was given this when i was a little girl by my mom and when i was a kid i thought it was just like a gold doubloon i thought it was like this precious thing worth so much money and truly it's not worth anything but to me it's worth the world so i feel that's how they hold you in their heart you know it's it's a childlike 
love. It's a childlike, first, innocent type of love. They really hold you on that pedestal and see you through those rose-colored glasses. We have 2015 here, and it's the nickel. The fifth of the month or May could, ma could mean something to you. We have the second nickel here. You guys could both be May babies, perhaps. Um, 2006 is the date on this nickel. Yin yang type of feeling here with these two nickels even here together. I feel like you guys have a lot of mirrored energy. Okay, group three, that is your reading. This is how your person is feeling for you versus their actions towards you. I feel like they're being very sweet towards you already. I feel like they're treating you really nice and their true depth of feeling is a lot. You know, they have a lot of loving energy that they're treating you with, but truly they have a lot of passion they want to express to you. Not only that love they want to express, but a lot of passion. They want to move this connection into a passionate new start. Um, if this resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment in the comment section. If you feel called to, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos I post. Um, if you have suggestions, leave those in the comment section as well. Otherwise, I just hope to see you guys here on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, you guys.